Okay, so Allison uh, was looking up this pour technique. It's kind of psychedelic how it works out, but um, I'm going to go ahead and give it a try right now. So hopefully it'll film well. We'll see what happens. So the basic premise is you mix um, acrylic paint with some glue or some pouring medium, and then you also mix it with a little bit of water and with a spritz of... Let's see here, silicone lubricant. So it's just a silicone, you get in there, you, you pour it on and it does this really kind of psychedelic separation thing. So we're gonna just give it a try here. Let's see where we're at, okay, yeah. She said she liked this area here, so I'm gonna to try to keep it. So I'm just doing a basic um, brown, sort of gray-brown, more earth tone kind of a feel with blacks and whites. Now I saw, I've seen this, this online quite a bit here and it's a pretty simple, simple thing to do. So I don't like to have it be too, too simple. You know, I don't want it to be the whole painting, this drip technique. It's just a little too simple for me, but I think, um, you know, using it as as a piece of a painting is fine. There's a lot of people right now doing this online. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. Wow, you can already start to see this stuff starting to kind of separate for me here. How fun is that? So we'll see what happens when I put the put some white in here as well. I think it's going to take a little while to dry. That's pretty cool. Okay. So let's go ahead and put some white in here. So basically I'm actually going to put this white all around here and just try to bring it into this area. Let's see what happens. Pretty neat. All right. Well, that's pretty cool. I can see why people like this technique. It's just a lot of fun in general to do. Um, so, yeah, I can definitely see why people would like this. It's quite a bit of fun. You can see it separating here. I definitely think we can just, let's see if I can get, yeah, looking pretty good there. Yeah, nice. I think if you even use the heat gun, it will separate even more. So I'm just going to keep this as just going to be the bottom of the or the, yeah, the bottom of the painting. I probably will keep with happening here. Yeah, I mean, I could definitely see why people would like this technique. It's just fun to do. <laughs> There's just. And mix just a little bit more. Up. Get in these areas. Go ahead and just mix a little more black and white up. Doing some fun stuff. Like I said, I just want it to be sort of minimal. I don't want it to be all over the whole painting. So I'm just going to keep it on the bottom here. So this is a technique that really anybody could do. 
pretty simple. Pouring meat in. So I've got my white here, and I'm just going to shake this up, spritz it in there. Mix it in. There's some stuff up in here. See what happens. This is could use a little bit coming in here. Let's see. Wow, that's pretty fun. I have to admit, that's pretty fun. I really like how that brown turned out with it as well. Pretty nice. Let's see what happens if we kind of go down too, maybe. Now we can even just tilt it up a little bit and let it run a little. Let's see here. Let's get the black going. area here. Mix these together. Need a little bit of white with gray. Just for me, I mean, it's a really fun process. Um, I mean, just doing the technique alone, I think for me is not enough. It's just too easy of a process if it's just a whole painting this way. But uh, let's see here. For one layer of my paintings, wow. I mean, I think it would, it's going to work really pretty nice. Um, Definitely could use sort of more of a little bit of movement. Let's see here. Let's see what happens. So then watching these videos, I've also I've also been told that it's pretty neat to have a heat gun on this thing and see what happens. So wow, this turned out pretty cool. This is a fun, fun, fun process for sure. Highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun. Okay. See what happens when the heat gun goes on it. So you can actually put a whole lot of different colors and things like that and use with this process. Just do this direction in here and kind of
So as far as a fun factor, I would definitely give it a 10. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. I'm going to just turn this off and then move it around and show you what that, what's going on here. So here is some of the finished product here. Um, looks really cool. I mean, this is sort of psychedelic, so you can use all kinds of colors. I just use brown, black, and white. I mean, really simple. You can kind of see that they mix. Let's see if... So there's some grays in here. Um, you know, some of the colors do mix a little bit. You know, to have just another tool in the tool belt. Like I said, I probably wouldn't use this. It's a very easy process. Very cool. Definitely fun. Fun factor is 10. So I just went to the hardware store and got silicone lubricant uh, spray as well as this. It just sort of makes the it's a latex based it makes it um, flow. It makes the paint flow. So you can either use I've heard you can use uh, Elmer's glue, a one-to-one -one ratio with paint. You want to add a little bit of water to get a nice flow, flowy paint, and then you do the spritz of the silicone lubricant. So hopefully you have fun with this. I tell you, the, the fun factor is definitely a 10. It is a lot of fun, and I can see why people like it. Again, I think the creativity you know, level is a little bit lower, only because it's just kind of easy to do. There's not doesn't take a whole lot of skill, so I'm just going to try to use it you know, for maybe one layer of my painting. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Have fun.